What do the words llama and coffee have in common? What about the words chicken and thumb? How about the words fish and cheese? Well, each pair of words is part of a consonants team. I'm sorry, I thought I was teaching little kids. But seriously, though, consonant teams are very important when saying and reading new words in English. So llama and coffee are part of the double, double consonant, consonant. Sorry, they are part of the double consonants team. Chicken and thumb are part of the. Finally, fish and cheese are part of the new sound team. Today, we're going to talk about some common words and sounds. That are part of each team. First, let's talk about the double consonants team. In the double consonants team, there are two letters that make only one sound. First example is double L, which makes an O sound. It appears in words like llama and pillow. Next comes double S. It makes the s sound, and it appears in words like chess and glass. Then we have double z or double z. It makes a z sound, and it appears in words like jazz and puzzle. Then we have double f, which makes a Sound. It appears in words like coffee and office. Finally, is double T, which makes a t sound. It appears in words like kitten and lettuce. Now let's talk about the one silent consonant team. Again, there is a pair of consonants. But we only say the sound of one of the consonants. For example, W and H, we only say the W sound in words like whale and wheel. Next we have G and N, but we only say the N sound in words like design and Foreign. Then we have K and N, but we only say the N sound in words like knee and knuckle. Next comes M and B, but we only say the M sound in words like climb and thumb. Next comes W and R, but we only say the er sound in words like wrist and wrong. With C and K, we only say a k sound in words like chicken and hockey. Finally. G and H, it makes a g sound in words like ghost and ug. Now let's talk about the new sound team. In this team, the two consonants make a sound that is completely different from the original letters. For example, P and H together make a. Sound in words like photo and paragraph. G and H together also make a f sound in words like cough 
and laugh. Q and U together make a qu sound. It appears in words like question and quick. You probably remember the next sound. It's S and H together, and they make the sh sound. No, I'm, I'm not telling you to be quiet. I'm saying it's the sh sound that appears in words like fish and wash. You probably remember the C and H sound. C and H together make a ch sound in words like chair and cheese. Finally, we have the th sound. We say th in words like think and throat. Now that you've learned about the three consonant teams, you're ready to do some exercises. You can try to do exercises 23 and 24 to practice what you learned. If you forget the consonant teams, you can also look at the chart on the previous page to help you. Good luck!